Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another diecast review here on the channel. Uh, today, I have a rookie card to review today, and uh, it's going to be our second John Hunter Nemechek car uh, that's came out in 2020. So, uh, I unboxed this a few days ago. Uh, so, if you didn't watch that video, uh, go check it out. Um, I really forgot I had ordered this car, so uh, it's always an, it's always nice when you uh, you get a package in the mail that you completely was unaware of. So. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start off with the box. You got John Hunter Nemechek, uh, and then the front row Motorsports logo down there on the bottom right. Uh, you got John Hunter Nemechek, number 38, Skag, Power Equipment, 2020 Mustang. And then you got the Action Racing Collectibles on the back, and then the barcode. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, open this car up. I really like the um, the colors on it so far, the orange and black. Um, kind of the same colors as Corey LaJoy's car. Hopefully... God, I pray this diecast isn't just demolished, you know. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the hood. Um, a little something on it. All right, yeah, so you got the Skag Power Equipment logo. Uh, I kind of like the big red logo uh, that they went with. That's pretty nice. Uh, you got the Ford Mustang nose. Nothing too, uh, nothing really going on there. It looks pretty solid, honestly. Uh, and then the Cup Series uh, window banner up there. And then on to the left side, uh, you got the um, COVID, the Real Heroes, um, the COVID-19. Uh, whenever they went back racing, they all ran that contingency thing, uh, which was pretty nice. So, yeah, you got a, a few more sponsors down there beneath that. Uh, and then you got the Cup Series uh, contingency as well. Uh, I really like the, I like the it's kind of a tiger, uh, tiger design going down there on the bottom. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like the orange and black. I'm always a fan of orange and black. Uh, I just think they really work well together. Uh, maybe not this particular shade of orange, but I do think it works with this paint scheme. Uh, you got the 38 right there, Mystic down there, and then uh, you got a few more sponsors with John Hunter Nemechek on the name rail. Uh, you got a cross and then uh, an American flag. On to the, the rear, uh, the American Ethanol logo looks pretty good. You got the fire alarm services down there on the quarter panel. On to the back. Uh, hopefully this car can stay up to consistency. It's, it's pretty good so far. Uh, you got Skag power equipment there on the deck lid. Deck lid logo's a little funky, but not, not anything major. You got John Hunter Nemechek there on the name rail, and then Simply the Best there on the roof. Uh, Skag.com, and then the, you got the rookie straps. On to this side. You got some paint chips. Looks like um, Skag logo is a little, uh, a little messy. This side, the right side of these die casts are always a little bit messy. Uh, I'm not really sure what it is, but um, looks like the paint. Honestly, it looks like the paint's just cracked a little. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but all in all, not the worst that I've seen this year. I mean, I think a paint chip here and there is a little, it shouldn't be acceptable, but that's just how it is today. So, uh, but yeah, um, again, I like this paint scheme pretty good. I wasn't expecting to get it. Um, Honestly, the stock cast isn't that bad. If I had to give it a rating uh, based on the paint scheme and the quality, I would probably give it a 6.1. 6.1 out of 10. That might seem a little high, but uh, I mean, I'm not going to absolutely crap on a die cast just because of the paint scheme is not the best, you know? So I like to keep it a little bit reasonable on the scale. Pretty solid die cast, nothing too uh, major and nothing too uh, really much to complain about, but. Uh, John Hunter Nemechek has had an interesting rookie season. He's always been in the mix, and he usually finds his way on the TV. Uh, he's usually in an accident at least once a week, <laughs> whether it be his fault or not. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do uh, next season. Yeah, definitely pulling for him. So uh, let me know what you thought about this diecast down below. Reach up there and smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one.